Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is Greenhouse Effect and Global Warming. We all know that excess of everything is bad. So in the same way in Greenhouse Effect we will gonna talk about all the gases which will be harmful when they will be present in excess amount. Now the question arises that why? these gases are harmful when they exceed from their original values. Yes, because they are heating the earth. They are causing global warming. So basically, due to global warming, the earth is changing its temperature and it's all because of greenhouse effect. So let's study about these two topics in detail. Greenhouse effect and global warming. The basic gas is carbon dioxide. Now the carbon dioxide forms a layer around the earth just like an envelope. It allows the heat rays of the sun to pass through it and reach up to the earth. Now the normal concentration of carbon dioxide layer retains enough heat to keep the atmosphere warm. So now what happened when carbon dioxide increases from the limited amount? Definitely it will cause global warming. We get carbon dioxide from so many resources. Okay? Now if I talk about a balance, there is a balance in nature between carbon dioxide and oxygen. Plants are giving oxygen by the process of photosynthesis and animals are giving carbon dioxide by the process of respiration. So in this way there is a natural balance exists between carbon dioxide and oxygen. Now the problem will arise when this natural balance will disturb and this balance is disturbing due to human activities. Normal concentration of carbon dioxide is very necessary because it is beneficial for keeping the temperature warm. Otherwise, the earth would have been uninhibitable. The earth's average temperature would be negative 20 degree rather than presently average temperature 15 degree. So it's gonna be too cold without carbon dioxide. And definitely if it's gonna be too cold, it's not possible to exist a life on it. So that's why Although carbon dioxide is present in a very little amount on the earth. Do you know the value? Yes, you are very genius. It is 0.03%. Now 0.03% is a very minute value. But this minute value keeps the earth warm. We can't say that carbon dioxide is an air pollutant. No, never. Carbon dioxide is not an air pollutant. Rather, it is an essential gas for plants. As oxygen is essential for animals. But plant consumes carbon dioxide in photosynthesis process and produce oxygen for us. And oxygen is very necessary for breathing while animals use oxygen in respiration and give out carbon dioxide. Now this is a natural balance which exists between essential gases. When this balance will gonna be disturbed by human beings then global warming occurs. Now the balance is being disturbed by emitting 
more and more carbon dioxide in air through different human activities. Although carbon dioxide is not a poisonous gas, yet its increasing concentration due to burning of fossil fuels in different human activities is really alarming. Now carbon dioxide gas will act as a glass wall. In greenhouse effect, gases such as carbon dioxide are invisible to visible light. So letting sunlight pass through our atmosphere and warm the earth. However, greenhouse gases act like a blanket, trapping some of the earth's heat as it escapes back out to the space. Now the burning of fuels add extra greenhouse gases to our atmosphere and these extra gases will trap more and more heat which causes global warming. Now some sunlight that hits the earth is reflected and some becomes heat. Carbon dioxide and other gases in the atmosphere trap that heat and keeping the earth warm. The rays of the sun which reaches to the earth are ultraviolet rays and when they reflect and want to go back to the atmosphere it will change into infrared radiations or we can say IR radiations. These IR radiations will not able to completely go back to the atmosphere due to the presence of envelope of carbon dioxide. Now as they are trapping around the atmosphere, so they are causing the earth more warming. They are the main cause of global warming. So now here are some notes for your convenience. Carbon dioxide allows UV radiations to pass through it but does not allow the IR radiations to pass through it. It traps some of the IR radiations emitted by the earth. It helps to stop surface from cooling down during night. But the problem arises when carbon dioxide increases from the limited amount. As the concentration of carbon dioxide in air increases due to burning of fossil fuels, due to vehicles and different human activities, less heat energy is lost from the surface of the earth. Therefore, the average temperature of the surface gradually increases and as this increase is due to the presence of excess amount of carbon dioxide. This is called greenhouse effect. Now we can easily see that greenhouse effect is directly proportional to the amount of carbon dioxide. Greater is amount of carbon dioxide, more is trapping of heat and more will be the earth warmer. Due to increased warming, this phenomena is called global warming. As the temperature of the earth is rising day by day due to the increasing concentration of carbon dioxide. Now this is a very important question 
that how we know that we are causing global warming yes we are heating our earth because the shrinking of upper atmosphere our atmosphere is shrinking then cooling upper atmosphere winter warming faster than summer it means that summer season is increasing and winter season is decreasing less oxygen in the air nights warming faster than days more fossil fuel carbon in trees more fossil fuel carbon in corals so means more fossil fuel carbon in ocean oceans are warming more heat is returning to the earth more fossil fuel carbon in the air rising tropopause and less heat escaping to space most of the heat will be present on earth so definitely earth is moving towards global warming why global warming is dangerous accumulating of carbon dioxide in air is resulting in increasing atmospheric temperature about 0.05 degree every year now what are the effects in effects of global warming melting of glaciers in icebergs so more water rising of sea levels and the rising means flooding flooding of low lying coastal areas sea defenses breached previously populated areas no longer habitable so these all are the effects of global warming it is causing major changes in weather patterns extreme weather events are occurring more commonly and intensely than previously it melts glaciers and snow caps that are increasing flood risks and intense tropical cyclones now a very dangerous effect for earth sea level is rising due to which low lying areas are liable to be submerged turning previously populated areas no longer habitable Thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day